Hi, everybody. It's Opulent Spiritual. Sorry if I sound like a little weird. I, I just woke up. <laughs> you know how you get that, that froggy throat in the morning? So, um, yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, I hope you're doing really good. I hope you're having a great day. This is real time, so if you're catching this, that's great. <laughs> This is the 17th of March. This is a special day, by the way. I already knew that this was going to be a special day. I was already planning on doing a video today. Because today is a portal day. Right? And I'm doing a candle wax, as you can see. I haven't done one of those in a little bit. I actually didn't know I was running out of candles. So, <laughs> this is like the second to last candle I have. Which is very significant. I, I was looking in my box that I put all my candles and I have like, you know, little trinket stuff in there. And I saw like some, some foreign money in there, you know, from Thailand that I kept and stuff like that. And I was looking at it, I was like, or it could have been like from Korea, but it just, it just made me feel really happy. You know, like it made me feel like something good is going to happen with your money specifically like money or you're going to be traveling somewhere where you're going to have enough and you're going to have a great time something like that so the 17th right it's today it's saint patty's day <laughs> right even if you don't celebrate that or whatever but it's the luck of the irish today so i don't know it's something it's something lucky 17 is a very lucky number that is my lucky number but there's something with the 17th also the star i didn't realize right now is the 17 is number 17. i just thought about that right now the second so yeah one of your wishes is coming true right so i okay little backstory right um yesterday i went to my spiritual store that I like by my parents' house. And it was like a random visit. It wasn't planned. It wasn't anything like that. I just, I had such like a weird dream yesterday. I've been having like weird dreams like the last few days, but um, yeah. And I just noticed like on, on this card, the, like the daffodils type of thing. Right? Those are like daffodils, right? Or they're lilies. I don't know. Oh, it's the justice card. I don't know. All right. Hold on a second. Let me let me talk about what I was talking about here. <sighs> so, yeah, I went I, I had a very significant dream and then I, I started getting very emotional. And then I was like, OK, so I'm like driving to my parents house and I started like crying and. I don't know. I was like thinking about my dad and it was weird. It was just like too, it was like too many things. It was like, what is happening here? I just needed to see them, you know? And, uh, I don't know about you guys, but with my parents, like, like I could just show up, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like weird and whatever, you know what I mean? Like my, we're just very close like that. And with them, it's like, yeah, anytime, anywhere. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, they're like old school like that. Um, so I like to like just show up and like surprise, you know? And like, and then my mom's like, oh my gosh, what are you doing here? And then the dogs like are all, you know, crazy and shit. And like, they're happy to see me. They're like, oh my gosh, like, what are you doing? I haven't seen you. And it's like, yeah, okay, look, relax, you know? You know how the dogs are, they get all crazy and shit. And um, yeah, so it was just, you know, and what happened was when I showed up, nobody was there. And I was like, okay, but before I did that, I'm sorry, I'm like back and forth. Uh, before I did that, I was in so much energy. Like before I left my house, I did like a, a workout, right? I was doing weights and shit. And I was like, okay, yeah. And I just left. And then when I got to my parents, like they live around like the like the bay and stuff like that, the ocean shit. So I was like, okay, um, like I really wanted to go to the water. Like spirit was telling me like, go to the water. 
and I started like I did like a run <laughs> I know I'm like a big exercise person like I do like a lot of workouts and shit I know I'm like I get I get all like crazy with the shit but whatever that's me that's what I like to do so I was like I did a lap and then I was like and then I started walking and I was just looking at the ocean, you know, or like the bay. And I was just like, it was like beyond, you know what I mean? Like I was looking out there and like the sun just came up and it was on the water. It was like so, you guys know what I'm talking about? Especially if you guys live near the water or whatever, you guys like going to the beach or whatever, I don't know. But like, it's just... It's just something like so beyond, like bigger than us, bigger than anything. And then you look out there and you're like, you don't need to worry about anything. You know, like it's just, like it, it's, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I was like telling my mom, I was like, it's just like beyond anything. Like all your worries go away. You're like, okay. Like I don't have any worries or anything, but I'm just saying like, I just, it's just so much bigger than than you, you know. And you know that you're, you know that that God's there. I don't know. You know that something is there for you, even if you can't see it like physically. You know, you know that everything's okay. Like you could see it beyond when you look at something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So then I went to go sit on the pier. Like my, my legs dangling over the water, you know? And I was just looking out there, looking at the ducks and stuff. And I saw a new duck and I love ducks, by the way. Like I'm, I'm like a big duck collector person. <laughs> I love ducks and stuff. Um, yeah, and I was just looking and there was a new duck. It was like black and white. And I was like, wow, that's kind of weird. Like a new mallard. So I looked it up and it's like apparently a duck that's like around this area that I've never seen before. So there's something where you're not gonna, you know, it's been around your area. It's been around you, but you've never seen it before. It's gonna be like a new discovery, but you've, but you've lived in the same place for like, I don't know, 10 years or something. I don't know. It's, you're gonna, you're gonna discover something new, right? You're gonna discover something new. And then um, it's gonna make you very happy and I was sitting there and I just started talking to God. I started talking to my angels and spirit. You know, I was like, I was like, yeah, everything's great. Everything. And I just started crying. I'm telling you, it's something so important. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's fine. Cause like, this is all like spiritual shit. It's, it's all connected to everything. You know, it's, it's for the people that, you know, you know, that they understand and shit, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I was like, okay, you know, and I let that shit out, right? Like how I tell you guys to let that shit out, right? And I went to my parents and they, you know, they weren't there. And I was like, well, and it's not really on, you know, my dad usually gets up early and he does, he like works on people's houses and stuff. I don't know, like he does like, he does little side jobs. My dad's always busy. He's like the handyman of like the community. Like he, just, he goes in and my dad knows all this stuff. Like he's like amazing and no one taught him. So he definitely did that like in his past lives. Cause like, he's just handy. Like, he knows you ask my dad something about like a car or like a, like a house, especially like house stuff, like electric stuff and whatever, plumbing, whatever. He's like, yeah, no, you got to do this. And I don't know. Like he just knows, you know? Um, but my mom, she's usually there, you know, hanging out, having her coffee. Cause she, she drinks her coffee every morning and you know, they're creatures of habit. So it's like, okay, whatever. But they both weren't there. So I was like, what the F, right? What is that? So then after having that dream, I was like freaking out. I was like, what the hell is going on? I thought something bad happened. So then I texted my dad and he usually, my dad's the type of person, like he gets back to you like right away like within like two minutes, I was like, okay. You know, so he didn't get back to me. So I was like, what the F is happening? Like, no, I don't like this shit. 
you know? And I was like, all right, let me give them a few minutes. And I'm like playing with the dogs and shit. And then he hasn't gone back to me yet. So I texted him again. I was like, is everything okay? Are you guys okay? Like, what the F? Because sometimes maybe they go to like breakfast. I don't know. I don't know. And I didn't want to say I was there because I still wanted the surprise. So I was like, I don't know. This, I'm telling you, you guys are like my people, my my family on here. My, you know, so if this is too much for you, you know, to, then you could skip right to the candle wax, right? But it's just a little story or whatever. But um, I'm sorry if it's like too much or whatever, but I just felt like sharing, right? And uh, so I texted him. I was like, are you okay? Is everything okay? And he was like, he still didn't get back to me. So I was like all effed up. Do you guys get effed up when like someone doesn't get back to you right away? I don't like that shit. Like I text you, tell me what effing is going on, you know? So, <laughs> so it's like, okay. So I was like, I'm going to call him. I was like, let me call my dad. So I called him and he picks up. He goes, hey, honey, what's what's going on? You know, are you okay? What? The and now he's like, he gets worried, you know, like, for nothing and I was like oh here we go so I said no dad are you okay like, is everything okay because you're not pick you're not texting me back right <laughs> he, goes, he goes no honey no everything's fine I'm just working on a heater right now <laughs> oh sorry <laughs> he's like I'm just working on someone's heater right now I didn't, I didn't hear you know I'm just you know and I was like dad I was getting worried at you know I didn't I was like, I didn't know what was going on. You didn't answer. La la. He goes, no, everything's fine. He goes, mommy's not home. Mommy should be there. I was like, as soon as he said that, my mom pulls up. I was like, oh, mommy's here. Mommy's here. Like, Never mind. I got my answer. This is what I said to him. I said, I got my answer. I got my answer. And then he kept talking to me for like a second. Like, oh, are we, are we doing this? La la, whatever. I was like, all right, I love you. Bye. So, yeah. So my mom pulls up. Right. And I was like, here we go. Right. So she had groceries. So I start, I came outside. I was like, whoa, son, what's going on? La la. Right. <laughs> and she goes, oh, no, you did it. She's like, oh, I'm so happy you're here. La la. What a, what a great surprise. Right. This is my mom. Right. I was like, yeah, what's going on? La la. I was like, let me bring you, let me, let me bring in the groceries with you. Right. So I'm bringing in the shin. She goes, and I said, Ma, I got so much to tell you. Like I just told you guys. Right. Like I just told you. And she goes, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Let me let me get everything going. Let me get my let me get my coffee, whatever. Let me, <laughs> like talking shit, you know. Let me get settled. Let, let me we'll sit on the couch. We'll talk, right? So that was it, right? It was like, okay. So if you stayed this long listening to this, what I'm getting from that is a few things, right? One thing is something's gonna happen soon where you're gonna think it's more than what it was. Like it's gonna be something that you think is, is, is something, but it's actually not. And then you're gonna be happy that it wasn't that thing. Like you're gonna think the worst, right? And it's actually not. That's the first thing. Second thing is you could be visiting your parents. I don't know. And they're gonna be happy that you came over. It's gonna be a happy surprise. It could be something like that. Uh, another thing is you're gonna have a conversation with your mom right about something and then you're also going to have a conversation with your dad about something and with your dad he's not going to get back to you right away and you're going to be like okay and then you're going to be pleasantly surprised that it was nothing it was nothing bad everything's fine everything's good you're going to be worried for nothing right you're going to be like wow I didn't, I didn't have to worry about that and uh i just feel like it's all good things it's like it's all happy things but at and at first, it's going to be a worry. You know, you're going to think the worst. So that's significant. That's something that's happening. Um, anyways, I went to the spiritual store and they had little match boxes, which I love matches. I like, I like collect them because you're supposed to light candles and stuff with like natural matches like this, not with like really with lighters, you know, especially when you're doing like spells or you know magic stuff like stuff connected to you like when you're trying to manifest it should be like wood and like natural 
stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And I and the 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 spot that I go to, they had like they always have weird random stuff. You know that I love. It's always different. It's always like they always have new things coming in, right? But like they had these in the front. And there was a bunch of them, you know, they had the devil matchbox, they had like all this, all the tarot cards, pretty much like, you know, the high priestess, la la. So I just picked up random, you know, and I picked the star. So something is definitely coming true here. Okay, so here we go. You made it. <laughs> you made it to the reading, right? So the last 15 days since i was gonna say january but since march have been weird and difficult that's what i wanted to say so since the first day of march to the 15th and now we're on the 16th have been weird since yesterday but today should feel like like a release okay Things are about to change. Things are about to happen. Here we go. Especially because you guys know we have that full moon on the 25th. And it's an eclipse, bro. Are you serious? And then we have all that other stuff happening. It's a lot of changes. It's Expect things here. But today is a, a lucky day. It's a portal day. Okay. So here's the candle. There's a lot of wax on this. Um, the wick here. I was going to say the stem, but... Yeah, there's something significant with that. Maybe you're like overdoing something. Okay, let's see. So, I don't know. For some reason, I heard Barbara Walters. I don't know <laughs> why. Letter X, letter C. So there could be someone... That's coming back from the past here. An ex, or you're thinking about your ex, you're thinking about the past. I also see someone running here. This could have been a runner. Someone that always ran away from you or ran away from like emotions, feelings. Wow, look, it came out like a like a big piece. This is it looks like a coffin to me. Yeah, look at that. That's so interesting. You guys see that? They're like, it's like chunky pieces here. It almost like looks like gemstones. So the coffin, there's someone leaving your life here for good. So if it was that ex, right? This is someone you're not going to think about anymore. Like you're finally going to let them go. You're finally going to release that and, and surrender that. Like, you're going to grieve it and you're going to let it go. Yeah, wow, look at that. That's like, that looks like the sacred heart here. The sacred heart. Yeah, you're protecting your heart. It's something with the blessing here in your heart. You're healing your heart. You're, you're, it's the sacred heart. Releasing those sadnesses, the burdens. Wow. There's something with like a wig here. So maybe you're going to get a wig. Because you maybe you feel like you, you want to change your hair. Or maybe, you know, you don't have hair and you want to, you know, have hair. You know, you want to have a wig. It could be something like that. There's, there, there's definitely a cycle closing up like death to the old you type of thing. Wow, look at that money bag. Money's coming. Number eight, year of the goat is here. Leo. Eight days from now, you could be receiving some kind of money. Wow, and that's... um. What is that? Okay, hold on. There's a swan. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. Hold on a second. Give me a second here. Okay. What is that bird called? The mystical bird. It's like half lion, half eagle. I can't think of the word right now. I just saw that. So something powerful here. Half fire, half air. 
is significant. There's also an acorn here. So something is very abundant and it's growing. Acorns for me are like very lucky, you know, and it's also used in like spell work. Yeah, look at that. It's like someone seeing eye to eye with you. Are you seeing that? Yeah. I can't zoom in anymore. Like someone seeing eye to eye with you here. And there's a teapot here, <laughs> you know? There's a teapot here. So you could be having a deep conversation with somebody of the same sex could be, or this is like a new friend. Wow. This is like a bubble candle right here. It was like a bubble here. Wow. Yeah, pieces are being left behind. All right, hold on guys. I'm sorry. There's like a lot of stuff going on here that I'm getting. I'm also seeing the Ankh that represents life's key here. Life's key beyond here. Hmm. Wow, what an interesting candle. It's like melting like very thick and it's the color purple. I didn't even talk about that. Look at the, there's, there's an eye here. You're being protected. And, it, and it's an eye that's, it's crying a tear here. It's, it's releasing the burdens, the sacred heart. I'm seeing cancer here, the crab. Something was becoming a burden here. Something was becoming overbearing. I also saw the nine-tailed fox. Nine-tailed fox is going to be significant. Nine, year of the monkey. Nine is Virgo. Okay, there's a frog connected to a heart here. And there's a duck right there flying. The duck's flying right here, like in the water. Wow. Okay, frog connected to, to the heart here. When I think of frogs, I think of transformation, but I also think of someone younger than you, yet youthful, innocent energy, you know? Someone that's very kind, very patient, connected to love here. And I'm also getting like those sunglasses that they used to wear like in like the 70s or 80s, like definitely like more like early 80s here where they were like triangles. It's like almost like punk, like punk glasses, like, I don't know, look up the song Nelly the Elephant by Toy Dolls and you'll see what kind of sunglasses I'm talking about. And the song's really weird. <laughs> He's like, to Bombay. A traveling circus came. They taught an intelligent elephant and Nellie was her name. One dark night, she slipped her eyes and chain and off she ran to Hindustan and was never seen again. Oh, right, they're both, they're all doing it. Nella the elephant popped the trunk to say goodbye to the circus. So I don't know, I know it's weird, but like I used to be like a big like punk, uh, punk rock person. But like, yeah, that was like, <laughs> it's so weird. But um, yeah, Nellie is the elephant and she freed herself. She like ran away from the circus, right? She's like, they're like, what happened to her? So you're freeing yourself. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm channeling, but this is so cool. This is so bizarre. This is like great. This is like a great candle wax. I don't know. It's so weird, bro. Yeah, there's something with like a gummy bear hair, like that purple gum gummy bear that I have in my charm box. Something's going to make you feel very happy. And I'm hearing silence is a virtue here, I'm hearing. Like right now in my head. So you being silent and just pay, like watching, paying attention. Yeah, it's leading to some kind of money here. You got that bag. Leading to a bag of abundance here. There's a bridge being built for you to walk on safely. Yeah, and I'm seeing the bunny here, you know. We're very close to Easter here. Esther. Esther. Year of the rabbit. Yeah, look at that rabbit. Look, right here. So fertile energy here of... I'm telling you, it's abundance. Like something you're working on is going to be very abundant. And it's going to make you very happy. 
very happy here. Yeah, I'm also seeing a pumpkin here. So autumn is showing up, the autumn season. But pumpkins are orange, you know, like most of them, not all of them, you know, they're all different colors, right? The gourds, the gourd family. <laughs> But like I'm talking about like a straight up pumpkin, like the, the ones that you know, the orange ones, right? The sacral chakra is being, oh, look, we have Taurus here. Sacral chakra is being shown here. Your sexual creativity. Um, I'm hearing intensity. Something that makes you feel fired up, like motivated here. like the king and queen of wands. So you could be a fire sign or like the fire is being lit within. So wherever you have fire placements, it's being highlighted right now, especially because we're, you know, going into Aries It you know, it's intense. It's definitely intense here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing goldfish. So there's a stained glass window, you know, that you could see inside, but it's still not super clear as, as like a clear window. So there's something where you're very close to seeing what's inside. And I'm hearing from spirit, like all you need to do is step in. So you just need to step in, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm seeing like the five of pentacles here, like... It's like you're staying outside of the blessing for what? Like, what are you waiting for? Letter S, number 18 here. Year of the rat, year of the goat, year of the monkey. It's like you're... Your blessing's here, but it's like you're still on the outside of the window. It's time for you to, like, go inside. You know, so I'm hearing milk and cookies like <laughs> to get those to get that milk and cookies. I'm seeing number seven year of the horse freedom here, cancer energy. And I'm also seeing let me see in the candle in the video. Yeah, you can see a big letter C here. And letter J is here, letter T. And I'm also seeing a bat. So whatever this has to do with. There's people in your life or around you that are going to be jealous of you receiving this. It's like enemies around you, enemies working against you here. Something with number four, which is about stability and abundance. Like, hold your ground, I'm hearing. Like, you know who you are. Letter T. Hold your ground. Okay, there's something with ballet here. I'm seeing like ballet shoes. So you could be a, ba a ballet dancer or like into ballet or like watching. I'm seeing a crow here. So you need to release. You need to let go. The crow is helping you move on. Scorpio energy. Pluto. But the ballet shoes represents gracefulness, strength in the feet, something where you need to have strength to move on, but being graceful about it, not being like you're not going to show anybody you're, you know, that you're stumbling or that you like you're not going to show anybody like especially if this is an opportunity that's like bigger than you, right? And you know it and you're like, wow, can I really do this? You're not going to show anybody like that you have fear about it or that you think you can't do it. You know what I mean? Because the minute you show that, that's when they're going to, they're going to, you know, try to take over type of shit. If you get what I'm saying. So it's like you're going to be cool, calm and collected. Yeah, you're not going to sweat. You know what I mean? You're not going to sweat it. I'm hearing You have the tiger, Pisces, letter L.
So some of you could be getting a new couch. I'm seeing a couch here. Couch is also comfort, right? Relaxing, chilling. A lot of you need to relax. You need to chill. Things are falling into place for you. And I'm also seeing an anthill. So it's about working. I'm hearing overworking. So a lot of you could be overworking. Maybe you're trying to hit a goal or something. I don't know. But it's like, remember to take care of yourself and relax because it's like a big anthill here. And you have people that want to help too. You have people in your life that want to help you succeed. <clears throat> okay, so there's like a pot leaf here, like marijuana. I don't know. Maybe you do that or you work with that. Something with that. Number seven, year of the horse. I'm hearing electrify. Yeah, something's being like electrified here. Like brought back to life. You're being brought back to life. That's what it is. <laughs> like what is that? And I'm seeing if. And I'm hearing in my head. If I had one wish, you'd be my boo. Promise to love you. Time to you. If I had one wish, you'd be my friend. And I'm baby. That's some R&B over here. So I don't know. Maybe somebody feels like you're their wish or they want to have a chance with you. Like they, they see everything with you. Year of the horse. Okay, so there's something with like a step stool. Like you need a little bit more height. So you need a little bit more to reach. Yeah, and as I said that, like the sun or the clouds, the sun like went away for a second and now it's coming back. <laughs> yeah, so it's like the sun... The sun will disappear for a second, but then it'll come right back. So this could represent somebody in your life. Maybe they're they're going away for a second and they're gonna tell you, like, listen, like I'm I'm gonna be gone for a little bit, but I'll be right back. You know? Like I'll be right back, so don't worry. Like I got you type of shit. And I'm seeing like a big water jug here. And it's kind of giving me the vibes of Aquarius, the water bearer. But it also gives me the energy of air, right? Because, yeah, Aquarius is an air sign, but it also is holding the water barrels, which is water, right? So it gives that electricity kind of thing going on in the air. And I just want to, I got to be careful with my nails, bruh. Yeah, these are my natural nails, by the way. Like, I've been growing them. Like, sometimes I grow my nails, like, really long, and then I cut them. I don't know, because, I, you know, you get into that mood. But I don't have issues with that. But for some reason, I'm, like, really digging the long nails. Like, they're, it's, like, very powerful for me. 777, seven, seven, I'm seeing here. Hmm. I'm hearing Ouroboros. So it's like the snake that's eating its own tail. It's like going on and on here. Big cycle. And I'm seeing like, and I'm also hearing, I got the whole world in his hands. He got the whole world in his hands. Yeah, so it's like, you feel like you got the whole world in your hands, you know, like, you could do anything. This is like very powerful energy here. Like you feel like you could do anything. Like it's very positive. You know what I mean? Like after a time of you feeling like you couldn't do maybe anything, maybe you were healing through something. You know what I mean? Maybe there was like a problem. Yeah, because I'm seeing somebody in like a hospital bed laying there and looking like with just their eyes, like I'm looking in there with their eyes are seeing, 
You know what I mean? It's not like looking at the person. It's like looking through the eyes of the person and not being able to move. You know? So this could have been someone that was like paralyzed or like you just couldn't move your body or something. And it's like something happened where it's like a miracle here. Like the, there's like a, like with the star, like something's going to happen. Like that's going to break you out of that. Like you didn't lose hope. Wow, you never lost hope type of thing. And God's saying like, okay, you know, you never lost hope. You still believed. You had faith. Here's something that you're not going to be able to explain. It's like something happening, like a, like a blessing or a wish that you're not going to be able to explain to somebody. You're not going to be able to, they're going to be like, are you serious? How, that, there's no explanation for this. And it's just one of those things that it's going to make you believe again. It's going to make you have faith again in something that you, you can't see, you know? It's like knowing that you're taken care of. And there's a child here, like a little baby being born. There's also a gargoyle here. So you're being protected, especially in your home. Your home's being protected from like outsiders. I'm hearing salt in the wounds. So it's like, it's, it's giving me the vibe of the truth hurts, right? But the harshest truth is always the best truth, right? Because you need to know the truth. Like, do you really want to be lied to? It's like getting right to the root of the problem here. Like the harsh truth. Like putting salt in the wounds here. And there you go. I'm saying year of the horse. Year of the dog is here too. There's a big dog here. It almost looks like a pit bull to me. Letter B. And this and this pit bull is like very loyal. Which I wouldn't say, you know. Um, because the only dogs that ever bit me was pit bulls. <laughs> um, but I love all animals and stuff like that. But, uh. That's the only dog breed that ever bit me, for real, like, severe, right? Um, but it's not the dog's fault, right? Most of the time, it's like the owner. That's significant. There's something, and my arm just cracked. There's something with that, like, it's like, maybe somebody looks intimidating to you, but, like, they're actually not. They're very loyal, Maybe they're like bigger than you. They're like, they have that presence that's like very powerful. But they'll actually be like super loyal to you. And I'm seeing number one here. And see how it like, look, I know, I know you guys know what I'm about to say. See how you could like, it kind of looks like very shiny. Cause at first it looked like um, like a stained glass window type of thing. It, that's what it looked like to me. And then I just noticed it on the camera. Yeah, you have Taurus here. Letter U, number one year of the rat. And there's like a letter Z right there. Where is it? Right there. Letter V. And there's a hanger. And there's a love heart on top of it. So you're loving the way you look, the way you feel. You're getting like a new wardrobe, new clothes, and it's going to make you feel really good about yourself. Yeah, and you definitely have some kind of money here. It's a surprise. A lot of this is a surprise. You're going to be like, wow, are you serious? Yeah, I'm hearing. 
oh yeah it's like that hell yeah it's like that la 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 like from drake like yeah like that's <laughs> oh yeah it's like that hell yeah it's like that like yeah it's i don't know it's so weird that's so funny so yeah it's it is like that yeah and maybe somebody's gonna be like this to you like for real it's like that and you're gonna be like yeah hell yeah it's like that did i stutter It is like that. Hold on, let me wipe my hands. Okay. So there's the candle wax, right? Very in in interesting here. So let me get um, my candle. I'm gonna get some tea leaves for this candle wax. Okay. So yeah, there's definitely some tears, some crying here. And saying, use your intuition, it says grapes, time to get out of, oh, I was gonna say time to get out of a situation. That's what I was gonna say, but it says time to go out and have fun. Yeah, so time to go out and have fun now. Don't be sad anymore, it's okay. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. That's what I said. Okay, man, this could be someone coming to help you. Or this could be a love interest, dealings or relationship with a man. And you have Taurus. They could be like a Taurus here. Year of the Ox. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. This person's not going to back down, whoever this is. If this is you, then it's you, but... This is some, someone in your life. Hand, in need of help, assistance, or guidance. Wow, so this person might need your help, or you're going to need this person's help. All right, I landed right on here. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. So this person is going to probably give you an opportunity because of an uh, something where you help. You're going to help in a situation. Maybe they want your services. Okay, that's it. Yeah, Peacock. Beware of great pride. Maybe you're gonna be too prideful. Like, no, nah, I'm not gonna help you. Like, you know, you're you're not like. Maybe you feel like you don't want to help this person. I don't know your pride. It could be something like that. Or maybe you're just in a great time in your life that you don't. You're very abundant. You don't feel the need to. And it says news of a birth or a new opportunity. But there's some kind of new opportunity here. It could be a birth. Yeah, something with your career. Yeah, this is very important. Look, you have the sunrise here. New creative ideas. New ventures, a fresh start, new opportunities, possibilities. A lot of new, new, new here. Yeah, this man is definitely important here. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair, but it's this man here. This this person's coming into your life. They could have Leo placements, Taurus placements. Oh, I was done with this, but I guess Spirit wanted me to pull a little bit more. All right, hold on. Sorry. I, I thought I was done with these cards, but Spirit wanted me to pull. These fell on the floor and these fell on the table. A sincere wish will be granted. Look at that. Didn't I say that with the star? So there you go. The star guaranteed success. V for victory here. Victory in some endeavor. Okay, yeah. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Yeah, don't let your pride get in the way right basket recognition reward for merit mule someone is uh, extremely stubborn and unwilling to change bat look i saw that in the in the candle wax take care enemies are working against you and you have parrot someone will gossip about all your secrets here okay so i feel that's it that's all i have for you take what resonates right and i hope i hope this brought you some clarity somehow some way right I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for, for being here and subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and helping me grow. I really appreciate it. Like, honest, honestly, like for real. Thank you so much. All right. Many blessings to you. Have a lucky day. Namaste. Love and light.